Welcome back, this is Dr. Jen Sung, where clinical excellence meets excellent results. What crashes our glutathione system, which is a very important antioxidant, and what kind of physiological effect does it have on our biological systems? Before I get started, if you like these types of videos, we have an entire educational module with a message board where you can interact with me. And if you're interested in that, I'll put in the link below. Let's get right into the video. What depletes glutathione? Number one, it's going to be diet. If you don't have foods that have enough sulfur in it, you can't produce glutathione. So, lack of sulfur containing foods. Things like turkey, beef, eggs, nuts, seeds, garlic, onions, scallions, and there are others. A pro-inflammatory diet will definitely deplete your glutathione stores. This is basically your standard American diet, SAD diet, which is processed foods, high sugar, carbohydrates, sodas, you know, um, sports drinks, etc. A lot of preservatives and additives. A diet low in antioxidants is always going to impact your glutathione system, berries, dark chocolate, vegetables, etc. So you need the proper uh, amounts of food or quality of food in order to produce glutathione. Second, lifestyle. If you smoke, you drink a lot of alcohol, <clears throat> you overtrain and you take a lot of medications, it's going to deplete your glutathione st stores. Environment, poor air quality, radiation, industrial pollutants, and chemical exposure. Let's talk about this. There's a lot of industry factories, you know, coal mines, nuclear plants, the air quality is going to be impacted. Radiation, things like just standard x-rays or repeated dental x-rays. So every time you go to the dentist, every six months, they want to take an x-ray. These radiation exposure is bad for you. If you even think about things like EMF or electromagnetic frequencies or um, these watches that have Bluetooth on them, Wi-Fi, cell phone towers, all these radio frequencies that are in the air is going to impact your glutathione system. Industrial pollutants and chemical exposures. If you really think about it, right, carpeting, fire retardants, bedding, uh, mattresses, right, this has kind of what we call <clears throat> a, um, uh, a gassing off in a new home. So if you have fake wood, basically plastic, a hardwood floors, right? It's gonna gas off. These fire retardants, carpeting, all these things will gas off and create problems. So your environmental toxins are going to play an impact on your glutathione stores. Health conditions. Autoimmune disease will definitely deplete your glutathione system. Therefore, we like to supplement with glutathione when we have an autoimmune process going on. Autoimmune diseases, things like rheumatoid arthritis, Hashimoto's thyroiditis, psoriasis, etc. Inflammation or low-grade inflammation or infection will certainly deplete your glutathione stores because it is a antioxidant. Okay. <clears throat> now, when you have a depletion of glutathione, what's going to happen? It's basically increasing inflammation in our body increases the incidence or the prevalence of autoimmunity, it will decrease your chemical tolerance. What this means is that everyone's glutathione stores are a little bit different. So if we get exposed to, let's say, gasoline fumes, some people have no problem with it whatsoever. They smell it, they go, eh, no problem. Some people, they get a headache, they feel a little nauseous, they need to kind of, you know, recover for 30 minutes or an hour their chemical tolerance is very poor, okay? So glutathione is very, very important in our biological systems. So if you do not have in, in proper levels of glutathione in our system, right, because it supports the mitochondria, it's about energy, it supports the blood-brain barrier, right? supports the lung barrier. So it's very important for lung function. And we often use nebulized glutathione in order to help people with asthma or breathing difficulties or even damage from mold exposure. 
It's also a natural chelating agent. It helps to bind out uh, heavy metals and toxins out of our body. It supports the phase two biotransformation, basically liver detoxification, the phase two process of liver detoxification. Supports nitric oxide. Nitric oxide is something that helps to dilate your blood vessels, increase vascular function. So it supports that pathway. Another one is supports T reg cells or T regulatory cells. This is very important for people who have autoimmune disease because Autoimmune disease is a imbalance of your immune system. And T regulatory cells help to balance your Th1 and Th2 system. So we don't want to have an over exuberant response to certain things, which can trigger autoimmunity. So T regulatory cell, the referee between the two systems, is basically being supported with glutathione. So glutathione has a significant impact in our biological systems. And if you deplete it, you're going to run into some trouble. So I've made many videos on how to improve glutathione levels. I'll link those videos below. Okay, my name is Dr. Jin Sung, where clinical excellence meets excellent results. And we'll see you guys next week on the healthy side. Have an awesome day.